Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV out of Frederick, Colorado. Today I get the honor of walking you around a 2021 Newmar Essex 4551. So second from the top from Newmar, uh, this coach is just absolutely beautiful all the way around. So just a couple things to notice before we get up close. Uh, full body paint with a cut and buff process. So masterpiece finish, full body paint with cut and buff. Uh, makes it very nice and shiny and it'll that paint job will last for years and years without too much worry about it okay so this is a 45 foot motorhome triple axle well so you got drive axle steer axle and then in the rear we have a tag axle just for that comfort and stability while we're driving down the road so uh, we'll start by walking around the outside then we'll head inside and look at everything in there so one thing I do love about Newmar Essex is standard it comes with this Gerard awning package so you see this awning on over this window um, so just keep the heat out the sun out as well as the two patio awnings that are on a remote and they'll come out here slowly but all this happening just from the remote in my hand there we go. So while those come out, we can actually just kind of walk around this uh, this door side of the motorhome. So in this very front compartment, we have a Dometic two bay refrigerator slash freezer. So when we come to the back side of this, there's some controls here where we can actually change the the uh, the temperature in each one of those compartments so we can run them down to freezing we can run them as a refrigerator there's a couple different options there there's also Bluetooth enabled on this so you can actually change the temperature from your phone uh, while you're inside the motorhome notice it's on a nice big slide tray it comes out and extends way past this slide out so you don't have to duck under anything to get in and out of it it's also wired to run off of both 12 volt as well as 110 volt power so now that these awnings are out, let's get a good shot of those. So that's pretty much running the full length of the motorhome. From the front cap all the way to the rear cap. And you can control them individually as well as you saw when I was putting them out. So I just put this front one back in. But if for whatever reason you just wanted one of them, maybe there's a tree here. Uh, so you just want that rear awning out, we can control them individually. And then also, up in the top and you'll see it in the back here there is an LED light strip built into these awnings for when you're using them at night so coming back behind that refrigerator bay just a huge pass-through storage bay so something really cool that Numar is doing now is up top here where the frame rails are and you would lose pass-through anyways they actually just put a shelf there so you uh, can optimize your storage solutions on the Essex, we do have power trays, so 1,000 pounds of capacity on each tray. It'll come, about, come out about 60% either side of the motorhome. We'll show it to you on the other side as well. In this one, we do have the toolkit for your central vacuum system. We'll go over that a little more once we get inside. And then you also have a couple extra tiles. Again, we'll go over that some more when we get inside. And the other thing that's cool about these trays is it will stop once it gets inside. So if you're operating it from this door side, you can't push it through to the other side. It prevents damage, like if you accidentally ran it into the door on the other side or something, there is a safety stop there, so you can't do that. Coming back, this is your bigger pass-through bay, so you get a little more width out of it. Same height, again, another shelf up top here, backing straight into the frame rails. Again, it's a power tray. So the button's on that door as well. Oh. And then up above those two bays, we do have a 32 inch Samsung HDTV in the exterior wall. Also a Bose Solo 5 soundbar. So for your exterior entertainment, when you're sitting under those nice big awnings, you do have that nice TV as well as a good sound system. You can also set that sound or that Bose soundbar to your phone so you can play music through it. There's a couple different options on how you can do things. And then coming back, one more bay. 
This is just a manual tray, it's a half bay. So back on the other side, you run into your furnace system, your heating system. But more importantly in this bay, a couple things to look at. Right here, this is your actual central vacuum system. So that's where you're gonna change your filters and empty it. Over on this left side, we have slide out controllers, four 110 awnings or 110 outlets on this side. Right now your awnings are plugged into them. And then over here, just one more 110 GFCI outlet for your exterior entertainment stuff. You know, if you wanna come out here and plug something in, you have the option to do that out of this bay. Back one more bay, we have a nice big pegboard. So they did put shelves in them. So you can store, you know, a couple extra quarts of oil, some tools, anything that you might need uh, in a, you know, when you're in a jam. This is a great place to keep it. You can also keep it very well organized. And then back a little bit farther, this is your 15 gallon DEF tank. So diesel exhaust fluid there. And then in this last bay, just your two chassis batteries, a water fuel separator, as well as your battery disconnects for your chassis batteries. So if you're putting it in storage and don't want these batteries to die, you can flip these two switches off. It'll kill all power uh, and help preserve your battery life. So come around the back, full fiberglass rear cap. They look absolutely beautiful on the Essex. And behind that rear cap, you have the big Cummins ISX 15 liter, 605 horsepower, uh, putting out 1,950 foot pounds of torque and 605 horsepower. So just want to reiterate that a little bit. In this engine compartment, you can see just a couple things. Airline or auxiliary airline connection over here. So if you want to fill up some tires, some beach toys, whatever you need to do, you can hook it up right there. Oil fill, oil dipstick, transmission fluid fill as well as your transmission fluid dipstick so the things that you need to be get to even on a rear engine diesel you do have access to all of it up on top here you also have a block heater for those cold winter nights uh, when you're getting ready to leave in the morning you turn that on and start warming up everything inside of that motor make it easier to start for you so coming around to the uh, driver's side of this motorhome Rear mounted radiator, just for better airflow. So back behind that will be your transmission cooler as well as your turbo cooler. So having more airflow to those components really does help the efficiency of this motor. And then in front of that, you have another DEF fill. So you have dual side DEF fills nowadays. Truck stops are generally putting them on the left side. So it makes sense to have one, a DEF fill on the left side. So right here, you do have some optional sto hose sto storage. which is kind of optional because as we come forward here and look at the water bay, this Essex is equipped with a turbo Santacon system. So this is a macerator pump. So instead of having a standard gravity fill or gravity dump for your grain black tank, you take this out, put it in the dump hole, turn on this switch and it'll actually just clean or pump out your grain black tank. It's a lot more efficient, a lot cleaner. While we're down in this bay, uh, first thing you want to see, the stainless steel back plate is just beautiful. All these uh, letters and everything are actually etched in here, so they're not going to fade and crack and go away over time. Hot and cold uh, outside shower, whole house water filter, a holder for uh, paper towels, which is a great feature for anyone who's ever dumped an RV. Gray and black tank rinse, so something different about an Essex you don't see on a lot of motorhomes is you actually have a gray tank rinse as well as a black tank uh, just for sanitization purposes. A remote water pump switch so you can actually turn your water pump on from out here as well as tank monitoring so you can see how much or how full each tank is. The valve for your water supply, low point drains, and then over here you can actually cut water to any uh, any faucet that you need to so if you had a water leak somewhere let's say you had a water leak at your washer you could actually cut the water to it so it doesn't ruin your camping trip you don't have to rush in to get to a service facility and then last but not least you have a power hose reel push the button and it'll attract itself back in when you're done camping so 
Notice all of these bays, it's a little hard because it's a nice beautiful day out here. All these bays do have an LED light strip in them. So when it is nighttime out, it's a lot easier to see inside these bays. There's a couple things I wanna show you in this power cord bay. So first of all, your power cord's on a reel. Uh, your switch is up top here. Push a button, they'll suck it back in. And that's a 50 amp power cord. Up here in this top right corner, you actually have a remote switch for your generator to start and stop it. So if you're out here doing something, you unplug it, you wanna keep your air conditions on, you can actually start the generator up from out here so your air conditions don't shut off when you, uh, when you unplug. And then over on this left side, there's actually a 30 amp receptacle. We call it a buddy plug. So if you are prepped for a stacker trailer and need power, you can actually plug in to that 30 amp receptacle and it'll provide power from your 12,500 watt diesel generator. So, and there's other uses for it too. I mean, you can, if you're out camping with family and they have a small travel trailer or something that doesn't have a generator built into it, you can share power if you're generous and, uh, and keep them powered up. So forward to that bay, we do have this Oasis heating system. So this is gonna be your heat and hot water, continuous hot water. It's a 50,000 BTU furnace. There's, it runs off of both diesel fuel as well as electricity, and we'll go over that a little more inside. I just wanna point out that this will burn 0.4 gallons an hour at its highest capacity of diesel fuel. So it's a very efficient system, and it makes virtually zero noise. And then we'll kind of go through these quickly, but the other side of our big pass through bays, I want to show that you can control it from this side as well to bring it out again, 60% either direction with a thousand pounds of capacity on each tray. So those two bays are just the power slide trays. And then this bay here is your battery bay. So it looks like a lot, but it's eight, six volt, 100 amp hour battery. So 800 amp hour battery power for you boondockers out there. Um, I mean, that's just a lot of power to keep you going for extended periods of time. And then the last compartment up front here, we do have uh, an electrical compartment. So some fuses over here for your chassis. One thing Newmore does that's amazing, they started doing this in 18, is they actually give you some extra fuses in this panel or in this uh, compartment so you don't have to go searching for them. And then the other important thing in here is going to be the switch for your HWH hydraulic slide. This is going to extend out that 12,500 watt Cummins Onan diesel generator. So it also gives you some access to some stuff that you don't ever want to touch. But uh, one other thing that's down there is your fill for your windshield wiper fluid. And then over on the other side, there's a hydraulic pump that's actually gonna control this slide as well as your stairs. We'll talk about that as well as the slide. So Jody, let's go ahead and get a, just a shot of this side. Um, so as you can see on this side, we also have two awnings to cover these windows. So those are more of just, you know, keep the sun out, keep the uh, heat out, um, kind of awnings, but they look really nice. It's all power. There's switches inside that we'll go over, but just a very nice looking uh, awning set up there with a functional purpose. So while we're over on this side, the stock number to this unit is 5N201192. Again, it's a 2021 Newmar Essex 4551. So, so as we come around, we'll talk about this chassis just a little bit. So it's a K3, a Spartan K3 chassis. Uh, it's got a 292 inch wheelbase, not including the tag axle. So a lot of weight distribution there. That tag axle also will provide you with stability as well as cushion when you're driving down the road, you drive over a bump, you won't get that side to side rock that you're used to in smaller motorhomes without a tag axle. Again, 605 horsepower, putting out 1,950 foot pounds of torque. So uh, we'll go ahead and head inside now. One thing to notice as we walk in is this big three-step HWH hydraulic step. So you don't have the big initial step to get onto the steps to go into this motorhome. This is a hydraulic powered. So it's a little bit more efficient and it's less wear and tear on you know just a standard electric motor. Now I have it kind of sitting in a weird place just because 
uh, I got this little drainage ditch here, but really, if it was sitting on a level ground, this step would be no more than an inch off the ground. So. So as we come in here, we'll just pan around just for a second. Kind of taking the off factor that is a 2021 Newmar Essex. So we're actually gonna start over on the door side of this motorhome today. Let's go over quite a few things. So first thing, when we walk in here, you'll see these little touch pad panels all around here. So there's one here, one there, one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom, they're everywhere. Um, these are how you control everything. So right now, I'm gonna raise this TV up. And I've made the mistake of waiting for that thing to come up. So we're gonna keep talking while we wait for it. But you have all these control panels all the way around here. On top of being able to add or put that TV up and down, I can also go in here and let's say I want to turn off my ceiling lights. Boom. Uh, right there. And you can do this from pretty much anywhere in the coach. The other important thing that you can do is start and stop your generator, turn your water pump on, and you can also control all of your shades. So at the touch of a button, I just dropped all the day shades in the kitchen and living room area of this motorhome. And Jody, if you want to just kind of spin around and show them all the way around it. And I'm going to put them back up so you can see them move again. And away they go. And you also have nightshades. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of a cool feature here in a little bit, so I'm not going to play with them right now. But 50 inch Samsung HD TV, that is going to be a smart TV. And I'm going to put it away because, again, I'm going to show you something kind of cool here to you. But that televator is located directly across from your two recliners, which we'll see in just a few. Also on this side, great storage as well as your AV compartment for this TV. So this motorhome is equipped with two satellite dishes. You have both a stationary and an in-motion satellite. You will put your receiver in this compartment to hook up to this TV. And your outside TV can be coupled to that one as well. Um, but there's also a couple different ways we can set that up. Up top here, instead of having the traditional built-in sound uh, into the ceiling, we're going with sound bars. They're a lot cleaner, uh, crisper sound, as well as um, less money to replace them if they ever go bad. Coming back into the kitchen area, let's go over a little bit of storage. Nice big GE convection microwave, so it's both a convection oven as well as a microwave. More storage up here. Newmar's little trademark here is they put these little drawers anywhere they can just to make accessibility of anything in these cabinets easier. And then you also have the shelf in here. Again, adjustable shelves so we can move it up and down as needed. And then one more storage compartment then there. Again, fully adjustable shelves so we can move them to wherever you need them. Down below that, solid surface countertop. Huge, deep, undermount sink. Very residential style with a sprayer nozzle. Also, little things that Newmar does that I love. Uh, cutting boards underneath your stove top covers. And that's on both of them. Two burner true induction cooktop. Now this is an all electric motorhome. There is no propane anywhere here on here. So we get the induction cooktop versus the gas. Best thing about this is we can actually just pick this up. There's a 110 outlet in the back there. We can pick it up, unplug it, take it outside, set it on the bench, and we're cooking outside. And then it just tucks away just like that. And now you have all your workspace back. Oh, so more storage underneath this countertop and then as a bonus a little extendable tray here uh, just more counter space more workspace <laughs> just some extra AV equipment great silverware drawer right now we're gonna see all our remotes as well as a couple tools that you'll need uh, that go along with motorhomes and then down below we do have 
a nice dishwasher. Now one thing that's great about Essex, they do give us the option of putting a wood face over the dishwasher as well as the refrigerator that you'll see in a second. But that gives you just a very clean look all the way through this kitchen. Another tray here. So that's gonna be for your trash cans. And one thing to notice here is this is the other side to your sink cover that wasn't there. But I wanted to show you this. They do put a nice little holder there so those solid surface covers that we have all over this motorhome, we can actually store those there and they're secure and they're not gonna get damaged. And then another nice pull-out tray there. One more big deep drawer. And then more storage on this back side as well. So tons of storage in this kitchen. So coming back, we're just gonna keep going with kitchen appliances and stuff. In the very back here, we do have a huge pantry. Again, adjustable shelves so we can move them up and down as needed. Now they changed the locking mechanism on these for 2021. So it used to be just pulled out and they would come out, but now push in and they'll unlock and pull all the way out. And then just push it back in to lock it, easy as that. And that's gonna be for all these drawers throughout the motorhome. So six drawers in the pantry. Coming back a little bit, the wood face finish on your residential refrigerator. Huge Whirlpool residential refrigerator. With the freezer drawer underneath and the built-in ice maker. Coming back into the living room kitchen kind of area. So this one has the Euro booth option. Now this is a great option because this table does extend and there's two leafs that we'll show you in the, bed, uh, in the bedroom that you can put here. There's also two folding chairs that are gonna match the decor of this motorhome uh, just so you can have those guests over and not all have to squeeze into a small booth dinette. With the small buffet up top, gives you some more space for putting uh, you know, your drinks and stuff up there so your table doesn't get too cluttered. So one thing I do love about Newmar Essex right now, these huge windows on the off door side absolutely massive lets in a lot of natural light now every window in this motorhome is a tinted dual pane window so good thing about dual pane is it keeps it warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer um, but just very nice looking windows and then also on the off door side we have the theater seating instead of the standard chase lounge that would come with the Newmar Essex if we just ordered it base And then built into these recliners is an absolutely huge storage space, as well as two cup holders. Again, you just saw it's power to incline and recline these seats. So, so that pretty much wraps up the kitchen and living room area. Um, we're gonna walk back into this kind of center galley bedroom area. Now, uh, just one thing to notice while we're kind of walk in here this is a full flush tile floor so a hydraulic slide out gives Numar the ability to make this a flush tile floor and throughout this entire thing there is three zone uh, electric radiant heat beneath the tile so you can control it it's going to be the living room the bedroom the bathroom but they do extend that heated floor into the slide out as well as the engine cover in the back which we'll talk about in a little bit but Coming back into the center of this motorhome, I'm just gonna open these up, make it easy. Is going to be your half bathroom. So right in that, above the toilet there, you're gonna see your circuit breakers as well as your fuses for your houses. So your 110 circuit breakers, that's gonna be your air conditionings, um, your awnings, anything that's gonna run off 110 volt. Your fuses are gonna be for anything that runs off of a 12 volt. If you're the kind of person in trouble to yourself, that's a, that's a very good thing to know. A couple drawers in there, a Dometic electric flush for, uh, toilet, and then another medicine cabinet up above that solid surface countertop. 
with two 110 volt GFCI outlets for your hair products, um, you know, curling irons, blow dryers, that kind of thing. Now, one thing to note inside of this bathroom is where you're going to put your toolkit for your central vacuum system. I'm going to sneak in here. So you can plug the hose in right there and that hose will pretty much extend anywhere in this motorhome. Or you have the option to sweep your dirt just into this bathroom. Turn that on right there. You see the little lights come on and it will just suck all the dirt out of that bathroom. So one really nice feature is inlaid accent lighting into these mirrors in the bathrooms. Just gives you that high end feel and it's very pretty to look at. Back into the bedroom. Uh, first thing you're gonna see, king bed. Now this is a sleep number mattress. So you get a little remote with it. We can control left or right side to change the firmness of the bed. Uh, been very popular option for these Numar Essexes. And then underneath storage, and these are these two folding chairs that I was telling you about for the Euro booth. So that is a nice gas prop assisted bed base. So you don't have to worry about can I lift it or not? It'll pretty much lift it for you once you get it the first inch or so. Now on either side of the bed, you do have little nightstands. Cool thing that they did is there's actually wireless charging built in to those nightstands. So you can just set your phone on it and it'll start charging. And then up above, nice big storage. 210 volt GFCI outlets there. For you CPAP users, you can actually just tuck your CPAP in there. And then there's holes on either side to run hoses and cords through. So you don't have to see it, you don't have to deal with it. It's just there. Windows on either side of the bed for that cross ventilation if you like to sleep with the windows open. Those do have the power shades on them as well. And then coming over to the other side, maybe more of a dresser side, but nice. Solid surface countertop here, put things on. Uh, 32 inch Samsung HD TV, Bose Solo 5 soundbar. And then up top here, another AV compartment so we can actually wire the satellite dish to this TV as well. You can put another receiver there. Good storage up here. And then more storage. And then down below, we're gonna have six drawers that are identical. So we'll only open three of them. But coming all the way across that bedroom area, six drawers. And go ahead and close those. Notice that they are quiet closed, so you don't have to worry about slamming them and damaging them. Now, we'll go over this more when we get up front. But you do have general coach controls back here, so we can start your generator, shut your generator off, look at your water levels, change your heat and AC. Uh, you can change lights, shades, power locks. You can do pretty much anything you need to do on this motorhome from the bedroom. We can also look at our cameras. So if you hear a noise in the middle of the night and you don't want to go look, you can actually scroll through your 360 degree cameras on this screen, just as an added security bonus. Which brings us back into the master bathroom. So as we walk back here, uh, just notice how much space I have at six feet tall and 250 pounds. I mean, there's plenty of room to move around in here. Uh, as you walk in on the left side, you do have a full tile shower, which does come standard with a folding seat in it, as well as an assist handle over on the front wall. And then you see we also added a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash reservoir. So you don't have to have extra bottles sitting in here. You can just fill those up. Makes it look cleaner. So coming back, another Dometic electric flush toilet. And just above that, we do have an emergency egress door. So if there was ever a problem in the front of the coach and you couldn't make it out, you do have the option to come out right here. There is a ladder that you can drop down out of this door if needed and that does have a dual locking mechanism on it as well so it's not a security vulnerability and then a huge cedar line closet hanging all the way across hanging storage all the way across the top shoe storage in the back 
and I'll open it from the other side so we can see both sides. Uh, notice we do have a full length body mirror here. Absolutely huge closet. You have a nice little built in safe in there as well. And then over on the right side, some extra shelving. Again, adjustable shelving changes the height to where you need it to be. Now, there is two of these in this closet as well. We keep them back here and we keep them covered just to avoid lot damage. Um, things do happen. So, but these are going to be your leaves for your tables. It's about, it's about a foot. So you have about two feet of extension on that table in your kitchen for when you have your guests over. Now there is a dual locking mechanism on this motorhome or on this rear um, closet. So you have a little latch right here. You see it engage and it does take a pretty decent amount of force to get it to open off of that latch. And then up top here, you can reach it. Another just plastic lock there. So now the doors are locked and I can't move them open or close. You see that uh, light popping on and off there? The lights in this closet are automatic, so I'm just flipping the sensor right there. So more coach controls back here in the bathroom, so we can control our shades, our fans. You do have a power fan in the master bathroom, so you can turn that on. Um, but we can control our shades, our lights, all that stuff back here as well. Another nice medicine cabinet, two 110 volt outlets in the back of that one as well. They're kind of tucked away in the corner there. Dual sinks. So they are a top mounted sink, but they match the countertop very nicely and they just look very pretty. Nice big mirror, another inlaid light inside of that mirror. And then over on the right side, instead of a medicine cabinet, you do have access to your stacked washer and dryer, the back side of it, just in case you ever needed to get back there for maintenance reasons, or you just take it to a shop and let them take care of it for you. And then underneath the solid surface countertop, pull this one out first, two nice big drawers, four 110 volt GFCI outlets. So plenty of storage back here in the bathroom as well. So you also have towel rocks, racks on either side of the sinks. So you have two towel racks total. And you know for just a little hand towels after you wash your hands, brush your teeth, that kind of thing. And then last but not least in this bathroom, we do have a stacked Whirlpool, Whirlpool washer and dryer. That way you don't ever have to leave your coach if you don't want to. So that pretty much wraps up walking through the house portion of this. Um, just a couple things that I didn't mention. There are three 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps built into the rooftop of this, uh, this motorhome. Um, they will all three run just fine off of that 12,500 watt uh, owning generator. Your water capacities are 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, and 60 gallons of black water. Again, that Oasis system downstairs, that's a 50,000 BTU furnace. So that is gonna act as your whole house furnace. Um, and then you also have the heat pumps built into the air conditionings as well as the electric radiant floor. So there's a lot of heat in this motorhome. I'm gonna shut this really quick. We'll walk just through the cab and just through some of the stuff up here and then uh, we'll show you my favorite features of this motorhome. So on a Newmar Essex, you do get a full power seat. So move it forward, back. When you swivel this seat around, there is a built-in uh, footrest so that you can use it kind of as a lounger when you're sitting in here visiting with your guests. Now in this cab, uh, we'll start over here on this left side. We'll go through this quickly. HWH hydraulic leveling. So that's gonna be your actual jack system underneath. All you're gonna do is push auto level and let it take care of the rest and then auto store when you're ready to bring them up. Your touchpad for your Allison six speed transmission. It's an Allison 4000 series transmission. So much bigger transmission than what you see in smaller coaches, but still a six speed. Over here, we have a tag dump. That's more of an emergency situation. You get stuck somewhere and need to put some extra weight on your drive axle. You can dump that tag. Engine brake on and off. You have a three stage engine brake. It's gonna be a high, medium, and low. 
and then coming over to the left side of the steering wheel here a couple things to look at parking brake set and release right there on that yellow knob your automatic or your headlights now they do have automatic headlights in 2021 and they also have high beam assist so it'll turn your high beams on and off as it sees cars coming at you you also have a power window and the most important switch over there is going to be your air horn just kidding it's the house battery or the battery boost for your uh, chassis battery so if for some reason your chassis battery died you can actually use the house the power from the house batteries to start this motor so but the air horn switch is equally as important it makes it a lot more fun when you hit the horn so on this spartan chassis we do have the new dash so all lcd dash and we're just going to look at two things on here that i think are very important right here we have an air leveling system so I don't have this coach running, but we can actually change the height of this motorhome based on what you're doing, but you can also just level it using the airbags without having to drop jacks. So if you're just pulling over for a nap during the day, um, air level it and then you don't have to worry about dropping jacks. Or when you're refueling, it's recommended that you air level as well. And then the other thing to look at is your comfort drive settings. So this is going to be your driver assist. It actually uh, it's an electronic assist on the steering column itself that adjusts how much torque it takes to turn the steering wheel so if we were to turn this thing on uh, I could turn the steering wheel around with one finger no problem and once you let it go it'll go back to straight so all automatic there very awesome system if you've never driven with it it will take all of the tension that you feel in your shoulders out keep you from white knuckling on a windy day that kind of thing so look see air horns uh, over here we have a dual screen so over on this left screen is going to be all of your radio information you do have radio Sirius X, or AM FM Sirius XM as well as Bluetooth and then over on the right screen is going to be just your dedicated camera screen so right now we're looking at the back we can look out the front you'll see our nice beautiful camera truck there we can also look at our sides all the way through here so 360 degree camera now something I didn't talk about in the back uh, one this motorhome has a 20,000 pound towing capacity so that's what you get with a 600 horse um, but we also have prep here for your trailer cameras so if your stacker trailer has a backup camera side cameras all that stuff we can actually look at those cameras from the up here as well without having to have an additional screen so also this motorhome is equipped with on-guard collision mitigation, which is going to provide you with adaptive cruise control. And it also has mobile eye, which will give you lane departure warnings, um, things like that. So a lot going on up here. I'd love to talk to people more about it in more detail if you want to give me a call. So as we stand up here, up in right above the driver's bay, uh, seat is going to be just all your general coach controls so we got security lights over here drapes so these are going to be your privacy drapes i'll let that one just drop down for a second here uh, but that's all going to be drapes there your satellite system so that's for that in motion satellite you have another one up here that's going to be your stationary satellite security sensors so there are security sensors all around this motorhome they're motion detectors so if you left this motorhome you could just turn this thing on and once it senses something it will notify you another whole house coach control so right now I have it on the climate screen so as you can see I can control it in four different zones so living room kitchen bath bedroom cool auto heat but we can also look at our power uh, supply so we can see what we're running off of we can also see check our battery levels if we're charging if we're full that kind of thing start and stop your generator now on this generator we do have AGS so automatic generator start we can set that to either a battery level so when your batteries get too low it just kicks that generator on and charges them up or you can set it to a temperature level so if you have your pups laying in here and you don't have a power hookup once it hits a certain temperature in here it will just turn that generator on cool it down and then shut the generator off you can also look at your water system so it gives you the fresh black and gray tank levels in a percentage turn your water pump on and off and then also turn on your auto fill so that's an electronic valve down in that water bay back to climate 
camera, we can look at all these cameras again. Control all of our lights and shades. Door locks. So something that's really cool about Numar and Essex and pretty much all Numar diesels, they do have power baggage door locks. So all those cargo, cargo doors underneath are power. You'll get a little fob that you can control them with. You can control them right here. You can control them right next to the door. Tons of ways that you can do it. And you can also do your entry door up there as well. And then these switches down here, slide outs, LEDs for the exterior, the entrance step if you don't want it going in and out every time you open the door, and then a Wi-Fi router. And then, last but not least in this driver, well not last, but another Samsung HGTV up in the overhead compartment. It's for the people sitting on the door side couch so that they can see a TV without having to turn all the way around. And then one other feature that people are loving right now is over on the passenger side of this motorhome. We do have a remote panel. So right here we can control the navigation system. We can look at the cameras. Um, we can do all of this from here so that the driver doesn't have to take their eyes off the road to change those options. Also, step cover for that passenger or your dogs so that they don't have to sit down in a step. But it comes up, it's flush, you can stand on it. It's got plenty of weight capacity to do that. And then also another wireless charger over on the passenger side, as well as HVAC controls so you can actually control the temperature from over there as well. So, so that pretty much wraps up this uh, 2021 Numar Essex. There's one more feature that I want to show you that I think is actually really cool. So it's called theater mode. So all I did was push one button there. It dimmed all my lights, turned on just my accent lights and courtesy lights, drops all the shades, lifts the TV, all at the push of one button. So if it's Friday night and you have no plans, you can sit in here and watch Blade Runner. It's great. So this a really cool feature. I just learned about it, so I wanted to demonstrate it. But I did that just from one control panel here and we'll go ahead and put all these shades back up really quick so i don't know i think it's cool so anyways that's pretty much going to end the video for today if you have any questions or you want to talk more detail about anything i talked about feel free to give me a call at 303-482-6375 or shoot me an email at brian.moritz at transwest.com Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV out of Frederick, Colorado. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.